All right, everyone. Good morning. So we actually have quite a lot of projects to do today. Uh, normally everything would be going going without a hitch, but right now everything that could go fucking possibly wrong is going fucking wrong, and I can't access any of my fucking money anywhere. So I could literally have like fifty trillion dollars, and I can't single access a single fucking dollar of that. So I'm actually kind of in a very irritable mood because Sphere. It's obviously going migration, so training is disabled. You know, obviously Sim has to be careful, right? <sighs> well, I got about 54 minutes left before a fucking launch that'll just take off to the moon, and then, like, fucking... I was gonna actually do the video on it after it launches, but... I, I'm, fu I'm just so fucking pissed off. Life-changing money, and it's fucking going... It's literally flying away without me. Because this fucking hot bit's not working, and then fucking sphere is like, all my fucking reserves are down. Alright? So, now I have to use like a shitty amount of money. So, I'm just kind of really fucking pissed right now. But, well, I mean, the show must go on, right? So, anyway, we're going to be covering, uh, oh, I did include that project here. Well, I'm not going to make the video on that until after I get into it. If I fucking get into it. So, I don't know, I'll do the video on that today, because it was supposed to be today, but, I don't know, man, fuck. I'm just really fucking pissed. Not at you, but, it's fucking insane. So, anyway, um, I actually randomly found this project, uh, because I think I was looking through CZ Kitchen's Twitter or something, and then I mentioned, like, a brand new, you know, YouTuber, right? So I looked at his video for hot, uh, for CZ Kitchen, I just clicked it for some reason, and I checked his, like, oh, this, is, this really is a new YouTube crypto account. And he's doing the same thing I'm doing, and everyone else is doing it, right? Because now people figure it out, how to get, like, free views and stuff. And we all like crypto, of course, right? So I checked his videos, and he actually mentioned this project. I was like, whoa, what the fuck is this? So I checked it out. Uh, lo and behold, I put a pretty large amount of money in this. I actually will put in more, but because of the launch today, which is making me angry because it's going to leave without me, essentially. Uh, yeah. I'm in such a pissy mood, but, I mean, that's just what fucking happens, right? So, I'll have to get in late. I'll make very little money. Um, normally I would say it would probably go down in value, but I don't think it will. Uh, but, whatever. Anyway, uh, BUSD Crop Farmer uh, is actually a pretty good... This is exactly what I've been looking for. So now that I've seen this project, and it's pretty obvious to me that whoever made this website or project knows how to code. They know how to do website design and code. Or if they're working in a team, they obviously know how to do their respective skills. Uh, I got in yesterday. This was at 1.18 or 1.19 million total value locked. Now it's at 1.21 million. So this thing is just flying through the roof. Now what's interesting is someone put 300 uh, Binance. Uh, let me show you. Someone put 300 Binance coin into. Oh, I don't have to connect into the contract, but my total value actually went up by 25% because someone put in 300. So here, because the total value locked of by hands dollar went up, my earnings actually went down a little bit. Uh, so I'm so, but now that I've looked at the code, right, mostly from yesterday's videos, right, of like CZ Kitchen in particular, I analyzed the code of this. My only conclusion is the reason why BNB Miner went up for me here is because the dev actually put three hundred Binance coin straight up into the contract address for whatever runs the miner, right? Whereas Binance Dollar, this is going up because new people are coming into the into uh, the Crops Farmer, all right? Which dilutes my shares. So, so it's actually kind of interesting to see that. Now, it did occur to me with right the recording button that the reason why I'm going through this Murphy's Law bullshit is because maybe God or Satan, I'm not really sure which, or maybe it's actually, actually it's probably both, because Satan makes me look at the half empty, uh, half empty part, get me all angry. But God's like, hey, you're probably going to get diluted pretty badly if you uh, get in that new project. So, you know, it's like, uh, so I don't know. So I got, well, either way, I know I'm not going to be able to put all my money into it. So I'm just going to go in with whatever little reserves I have left. 
uh, and then I don't know, I'll just I'll just watch what happens, right? You know, and I'll learn. <sighs> so anyway, very solid project from now on. I mean, it sucks because I found this project after I spent all my reserves from yesterday, which is why I'm in an ir irritated mood today. And I found this project. This is exactly what I've been fucking talking about. This is exactly what I've been looking for, right? So, wait, hold on a second. Ten times. Oh, they've changed it. This used to say five times mandatory compounding. Now it's actually ten times. Hmm. Oh, so that is one thing about this project. I don't think it's actually immune, uh, ownership renounced because the guy is making changes to everything. Okay, so this is actually different. Yesterday when I did this, this said five times. This actually now says ten. Oh, wow. Okay, well, you know how all that stuff I have to worry about? Well, now I don't have to because you have to compound ten times before you can withdraw. <laughs> All right, so this pays 8% daily. There's a 5% tax on everything. I'm just going to assume this is a tax on everything, all right? unless you want to make a comment below and I'll pin it and say otherwise. There's a 3% daily higher bonus. That's actually the only thing I don't like. I would prefer to see no compounding bonus, but if you have to have it, just do like 1% or less. Uh, you have to wait 12 hours before you can compound. You have to wait 4 hours for every withdrawal, but there's no point to that because... Every time you withdraw, it resets the 10 times compounding counter, which I'll show you below, but I want to go through this. And just like BNB Miner or BNB Barrel, sometimes I call it BNB Barrel because that's what they call it. There's a 48 hour uh, reward cutoff. So you have to withdraw within 48 hours, all right? On BNB Miner, it's 24 hours. I prefer something like 12 hours or less. I want high taxes so the dev makes money and can use it as like a treasury, right? I want like less than like 12 hours or less than for a cutoff. Um, for now, I'm okay with the mandatory compounding, but the problem is it's going to make people's bags very large. So when they do withdrawal, it's going to be a very big withdrawal. So uh, we'll, we'll have to see. So very nice website. There's a lot of shit on on here. I'm not gonna read this because it just explains everything to you. I'm already telling you what it will what all this text is. So you know you can read it if you want more clarification. So what I like about it is it tells you everything that you need to know. <clears throat> Obviously this is a dummy account, so there's nothing in here. But you know, let's say you put in two thousand dollars, it'll show up here. All right. I don't know what happens when you compound if it goes into one of these numbers. But when you sell, it also tells you how much you've sold. So you can kind of roughly figure out what your net profit is over time. Uh, and then when you approve, because it's BOSD, you have to actually pre-approve uh, every single amount. So let's say you let's say you want to put in two thousand, but you only approve a thousand. This contract will only let you put in a thousand because you only approved a thousand. So this is actually a very nice safety feature, very much like what Sim did with the original whitelist for Sphere. So I like that a lot. So that means, that's how I really know that whoever made this really knows how to code, right? You know, so I really like that safety of mar uh, margin of safety. Uh, uh, this used to be a minus 60% tax. I mean, it's a little hard to see when I mouse over it, but now he's changed it to minus 80. So basically, if you don't, basically this project is forcing you to do 6-1, but it's really 5-1. Uh, uh, you know, five, yeah, five, one, so, or something like that. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so if you don't want to wait the mandatory compounding times, uh, you can still withdraw, but you're going to lose 80% of your rewards. So basically there's no point in withdrawing, right? You know, the only time you would do something like that is if like this project is dying, right? Over here. So, yeah. So, oh, well. So anyway, I just want to do a quick video because obviously I'm in a rush. I want to see if I can access any kind of my fucking money, right? And I'm obviously in a irritable mood, so I'll cut this short. But this is, I already put my money into this. It's going on the playlist. Um, well, one thing I do want to mention before I leave because I met, brought the examples before. So I have different uh, instances where the TVL of, you know... The project goes up, but sometimes my earnings go down. And thanks to uh, Crops Farmer, I can see exactly how it goes. 
So yesterday when I got in, $100 of Binance, well, $100 got me 666 farmers. Now because more people are coming in, and obviously the TVL has gone up, right? You know, it's gone up quite a lot actually since I got in. The number of that same $100 now buys me more farmers, which is diluting my income. And I see that because it tells me my estimated daily yield has actually gone down a bit. So, so it's kind of interesting. So is it actually good to get in at the beginning or is it actually good to wait till after all the money comes in, then you come in because you're going to get diluted pretty quickly. So maybe that's what, you know, I mean, that's what's happening. All right. Maybe God's trying to tell me that. So I don't know. I better, better actually really think about it. So maybe that's what it is. So, yeah, because, again, this is the exception. BNB Miner did the complete opposite of what usually happens in, in any miner project. So, again, I think the dev or whatever just pumped this project full of 300 Binance coin. I don't know where the hell he got that money from. Uh, I guess I don't really care because, I don't know, BNB Miner does not charge a developer tax, does it? I know it's supposed to be about bus cropper, but... I mean, this is all important information. Uh, let's just do a search for tax. That's all we're going to do. Yeah, there's not even a thing for tax. There's no taxes here. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, the code is very short. So anyway, check out uh, BUSD Crops Farmer. Like I've been saying, um, it doesn't really matter what happens. Your, your, your daily yield will always go down over time, so you have to compound. And luckily, you don't even have to think about it because this project requires you to compound for 10 times. So basically, you have to compound for five days straight. And then afterwards, you can wait up to 48 hours afterwards to uh, withdraw. That, so because you have to wait so long to withdraw, I'm probably going to wait like at least 24 to 36 hours. Then I pull out my money. So, yeah. But, uh, uh, but from now on... Uh, any new miner project that I invest in has to be like BNB miner or crops farmer. There has to be, at minimum, I need to see actually this. I need to see a mandatory uh, accumulation cutoff for rewards. I would prefer to see a lower daily return. Um, right now, I'm okay with or without a mandatory compounding period, but there has to be this cutoff. And um, yeah, and of course, I mean, I mean that. I mean, I can't really tell if something does marketing or not, if a project does good marketing or not, until they actually do it. So, you know, I can tell when someone doesn't care, and then obviously I don't put my money into that, but, but yeah. But that's pretty much what, you know, I'm, I'm going for here. And, you know, I'm going to leave the thumbnail here, I guess. Or maybe this one's better. No, we want to see the, uh, the nice little, like, you know, Mexican farmer guy or Texas guy. Yeah, he's, he's wearing, like, a cowboy hat. So I'll see you in the next project. Uh, this because this project has been around for a while apparently. Like they have other versions of themselves. The next one will be the AVAX USDC version of it. So you can farm USDC Circle on AVAX if you prefer AVAX instead. Um, then after that is Toasted AVAX, which is made by the Baked Beans team supposedly. And then there was supposed to be a fourth video of another minor project, which I'm trying to get into, but I can't because of the fucking money reserves so whatever i don't know i'm gonna let Satan and god deal with it you know, i'll just see what fucking happens and um and the videos might be a little delayed because it launches in about 40 minutes right now it's 9 20 a.m as i do this video so i don't know oh and one other thing you might have noticed uh i deleted the paramount staker video uh because normally i don't actually like attracting all these like you know P-word assholes from that live southwest of China. Right? I can't name the specific country or region. So, you know, their project's are already failing. And, you know, it's just bad karma. Even if I'm justified and correct, which I am, it's just bad karma. So I just deleted the video. Um, I don't know. I thought about maybe making a secondary crypto channel. And all it would be is just, like, FUD and, like, scam callouts. <laughs> right? And I just act like a really huge asshole. But I think that would just be bad. Because right? remember, when angry and hateful people lose all their money, they'll just take it out on you. It doesn't matter because they're fucking stupid. So it's like, you know, I'll just get rid of it. It doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, I just don't like I just don't like it when, you know, people like FUD my shit, you know. And then, I, and then I have to actually cave in and delete it. 
But you know, but they, but it's good. I mean, they're they're losing all their fucking money, so which is why they're angry all the time. It's like you know, you can't tell people the truth. They want to be told lies until the very end, and then they lose everything. <clears throat> so they get exactly what they fucking deserve. So, uh, I still would like to, you know, whatever, but that's just how it goes. So there's that. All right, I'll see you next video. It's gonna be the USD, the US dollar. What does this circle, right? USDC version of this on AVAX. It's by the exact same project dev. So I'm not gonna invest in that one because I'm already in BUSD and gas fees are cheaper here. Uh, I think I think Crobata game has finally moved away because I noticed for the first time in like this entire month, gas fees on AVAX last night was like 32. I was like, whoa. So those assholes finally leave. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you to all the new people and old people watching this video. Uh, just keep growing the channel. Let's try to push for 1,500, you know. Um, you know, it's it's about time we come back, right? Especially in crypto, right? You know, Wednesday's coming up next week. Greg Manorino has already said he expects the market to take off. That's always been the pattern. market has already priced in a 50, 50 basis point thing on the jig. So let's just hope we can finally, you know, get some relief. And by then, version 2 Sphere is already alive and kicking. Hopefully it goes back to, like, I'll even be happy if Sphere just went back to 4 cents. I mean, I don't want to drain any of my Sphere, but I don't know. I don't know when the fuck Hotbit's going to get their shit together because nobody can access any of their money on there. You can still trade, and I see my assets on there in the exchange, but, like, the exchange of Hotbit, right? But the deposits and withdrawals are all fucked, yeah. So, um, let me, I don't know. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. I'm actually have Telegram open so I can read uh, hot bits. So, I don't know. I also know there's a lot of, like, spam of, like, hot women who are obviously just trying to scam people. Yeah, I see a lot of people complain about Binance coin, too. Yeah. yeah. So everything's screwed. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.